Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 14 home screen widgets. There are a lot of cool widgets that Apple has to offer, but third party apps offer a ton more widgets which already have been released and are working on iOS 14. So in this video, I will show you guys the top 20 home screen widget apps for your iOS 14 device. Kicking things off with Wikipedia. Wikipedia has just been updated with iOS 14 widgets and it offers quite a lot of them. Here we have a few on the home screen. You will see the top red right here. You will see on this day and at the top you will see the photo of the day. You can add many more widgets from Wikipedia. Simply go to the widgets panel and here you will find a bunch of widgets that you can add to your home screen. So it will have different formats for different topics. So you will have picture of the day, you have different formats for that, on this day different formats for that and of course the top red right here on different formats that of course based on your preferences how many you want to see on the home screen you can go ahead and add them on different formats from wikipedia next up we have a weather app it's called weatherline and it also offers some really beautiful home screen widgets for your ios 14 device which contain a lot of information now you can see at the top right here we have the weather and we have a ton of different details regarding the weather for that city by the way you can choose the city simply by force touching on any of the widgets that you add from this app and tap on edit widget and right here you can choose the theme as well as choose the city to which you want to display the weather here and of course you will have different formats of widgets from weather line so you can see the smaller one right here which looks really really cool next up is documents by randall now we have to give props to them they have done an amazing job their widgets are really really well designed and they look really amazing on the home screen of your iphone so here we have a few we have a shortcut there to play music we have our recent documents right here and we have the music right here now documents by randall offers a ton of different widgets so let's just go ahead head to the panel of the widgets here we have the choices for the widgets on the home screen by documents by Randall and you can see here we have a ton of different ones for music, we have one for the recent documents right here and then we have the favorites so all the favorites documents downloads and all that stuff can be found easily. Then you have actions here so you will have this one to play music and you will have the one with browser and VPN as well and you will have a, a ton here you have like six different actions that you can perform directly from the home screen using this widget by documents next up is to do list now this is a pretty popular app that basically allows you to add like different tasks and things you have to do so we see here a bunch of different widgets that you can add to the home screen of your iphone from this app you will have a lot more on the widget panel so here we have basically the daily tasks you have the inbox right there and you have the today's task right here of course you tap one of them and it will take you to the app let's quickly jump to the widgets panel here you can see on the to-do list we will have like five different widgets that we can add so we have tasks here on different formats and then we have here the product productivity you can see the smaller one and the bigger one which can be added to the home screen next up is pedometer now pedometer will show you your activity so you can see right here we have a few different widgets at the top you will see your steps right there you can see the number of steps the miles and the floors as well the smaller one also will show you your steps and your goal here so this circle will basically fill up as you're achieving your goal and you will have a smaller one which of course just displays the the steps the floors and the miles as well now let's go to the widgets panel of pedometer so on the widgets panel you can see here we have a bunch more like different formats that you can add to the home screen so you have goal completion right there you will have a bigger one for goal completion so you will have like daily tasks and all that step count all these differences can be added to the home screen next we have apollo now apollo is a rated client it is really awesome a great app and it has just been updated now offers iOS 14 home screen widgets so you can see here we have different widgets we have one for the wallpaper right there we have one here which allows us to show our favorite subreddit so just go ahead 3d touch on it tap on edit widget and you can choose what you want to see the type of feed that you want to see on that widget and of course we can go ahead and if we add subreddit then you can go ahead and add any subreddit that you want and of course you will see the latest from that subreddit right there then here have popular as well 
well again for apollo you will also have a ton of different formats of widgets which can be added to the home screen next is personal best now personal best will show you your best like workouts that you have done now this through the health app of course it will get all the different informations and will show you here your different workouts so you will have the bigger 4x4 widget and the 2x2 widget so you can see here it only shows you like your recent workout and then here it will show you four recent workouts so you will have all of them here with all the details containing the minutes that you have worked out and also the calories that you have burned next up is habit minder now habit minder will remind you to basically complete the daily tasks that you do every day so you go ahead and set them through the app of course and then you will have them here on the widgets so here i have the walking one another for the walk right here which shows you your goal and how much you have completed your goal and at the top you will see the same here for the different tasks so you can add more tasks here not just one so i have the walk and meditate right there and of course as you complete your goals through the app they will be updated right here on the widgets panel Next up is food noms. Now with food noms, you can track your eating, basically the calories that you eat, the calories that you need to burn and all that stuff. So right here we have different widgets. You can see this one, which basically has different shortcuts that allow you to quickly go to the app to particular parts of the app. So if I want to log drink, just tap right there and as easy as that, I can go ahead and log drink on the app. Right there we have the calories burned and right here you can see the calories at the top on another widget basically it has a ton of widgets that you can add with different formats and different informations as well next up is motivation now this is a simple one what it does it shows the different like motivational quotes from the app now the motivation app allows us to choose what you want like motivations for sport and all that different stuff and then it will display like different quotes here on the widget so you will have a 2x2 the 2x4 and another 4x4 widget which you can add to the home screen and they will be regularly updated with different quotes my plate is another app that allows us to track your food so basically through the app you can track what you eat and how many calories you have left to eat so right here we have two different widgets at the top the two by four will, will show you all the different nutritions the last updated and also how many calories you have left for that day lower here we'll have one just for the calories it basically just shows you the number of calories that you have ate that day next up is spark now spark is a male client which is really famous and of course a lot of people use it it has a ton of different widgets also has recently been updated and it offers quite a lot so here we have like different widgets that you can add by going to the widgets panel you can see that we have many more as you can see here on the widgets panel of spark we have a ton of different formats of widgets which we can add to the home screen like we have mail list we have here like different emails and actions we have a calendar you can go ahead and add the today's calendar here everything like different formats can be all added to the home screen you can see here email and calendar very very useful of course spark is an amazing app Next up is PDF Expert. With PDF Expert, you can have your PDF files right here on the home screen, of course, using the home screen widgets. So you will have one here for the favorites, which you can find in different formats as well as for recent. So you will have your files displaying here and anytime you need to basically like quickly open any of these files, just click here and you will be able to actually go directly to that file simply by using the home screen widget of PDF Expert. Solar Watch is the next one for this video. This one is really interesting. It will show you like the Solar Watch right here, which looks really, really cool. And you can choose any city that you want. And you can see it will show here the first light, sunrise, sunset, and last light. Now, if you 3D touch on it, you will be able to edit this widget. You can go ahead and choose here any location. And then you will see the sol solar light basically for that location right here on the home screen widget. Next up is Drafts. Drafts is also a very useful app, which is also very famous. It allows us to quickly enter like any note, any text you want. And with the widgets, now you will be able to do that really quickly. So you can see this two by four widget at the top. I can go ahead and record anything with this button, quickly go to the recording section on the app, or just tap right there to start a new document. You will have also a two by two here for the inbox. You wanna quickly go to the inbox, you can do that from here so very very useful widget from draft which also has been recently updated next up is money coach 
Money Coach also has some awesome widgets and it has been updated with a lot of them. So Money Coach is basically an app that allows you to manage your budget. So you can see right here, you can have different goals which you can set here and then you will have also a widget which allows you to quickly enter like any expenses, new transfers, new expenses, new income and all that directly from here. Of course, it will jump straight to the app where you can go ahead and enter all of this stuff. So let's quickly jump to the widgets panel as you can see right here money coach has a ton of different widgets so it will have favorite budget quick actions and all that and for every one of them it has different formats of widgets that you can add to the home screen the next app for the video is called Lazy Bones. Now, Lazy Bones allows to track your daily activity. So you can set like daily activity that you do through the day or through the week, like your habits and all that. And then of course you can track them from here and know what you have to do during the day. So we'll have different formats here. We have a four x four and a smaller one, a two x two, which basically shows you less details than the bigger one. Next up, we have some widgets from a very famous app called Noted. Now, Noted is a very powerful note-taking app. You can record notes, you can type notes, of course, and with the widgets, you can do that really quickly. So we'll have the recent notes here. So we have different like formats and you can quickly tap here on record and jump straight to the recording part on the app. Or you can basically just go ahead and do that from here. You can see really, really cool. It will display on the widget here as you're recording so that of course is very very useful next up we have bring bring is an app that allows you to create like different shopping lists so you will see the lists here on two different formats you have a two by four and a two by two widget and you will have also another one which is called like an inspirational widget which basically shows you like different things here to eat smarter of course it shows like different recipes and all that that you basically trying to inspire you to eat healthier and last but not least is an app called Tasks. Now with Tasks, you will be able to basically take a peek at your daily tasks directly from the home screen using the widgets. So here we have a two x four widget, which will show you your tasks. And then at the top there, you can see another widget, which is a smaller one, which shows you the tasks that are on high priority. So you can go ahead and 3D touch on it and you can edit this widget and you can select which tag you want to show there. So I have high priority right there. And it shows me that I have one task with high priority for today. So that again is very, very useful. So that is it for this video guys. These are my top 20 home screen widgets for your iOS 14 device. So again, iOS 14 has just been released. A ton of apps have been updated with widgets for the home screen of your iOS 14 device. And of course, a ton more will be updated very, very soon. So stay tuned. I will upload another video once we get even more home screen widgets for iOS 14. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Don't forget to leave a like on this one and I will see you guys on the next video.